Gobble, gobble. Happy Thanksgiving. Welcome back to Tired Old Queen at the Movies, starring the one and only Steve Hayes. Now let's go see our buddy. Honey, I was just talking about you, and here you are. Mm. Come on in. Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Johnny, you know what I realized? We hadn't done an Errol Flynn film. He was one of the greatest stars of classic cinema. We had done Elizabeth and Essex with Errol and Betty Davis, but not one of his own with Olivia de Havilland. So I decided to do the very best one that they did together. William Keeley and Michael Curtiz's The Adventures of Robin Hood from 1938. This had been shot once before, a silent version with Douglas Fairbanks Sr. And at first it was being designed as a vehicle for Jimmy Cagney. I could play Hercules rally, or a part to tear a cat in to make all split. I mean, he had broken that pattern of being just a gangster. So they thought, well, you know, he's very energetic and he's very, very good dancer and he's light on, light on his feet. He probably would be a very good Robin Hood. Well, he was always fighting with Jack Warner about one thing or another and he bowed out. Errol Flynn had just done Captain Blood proved that he could do swashbucklers, and they said, you know, this is the guy to do it. So he was given this incredible role. Welcome to Sherwood, my lady. They decided to shoot it in Technicolor. Now, at that time, three-strip Technicolor was vivid and like nothing you'd ever seen before. They took it outside, they went up into these hills, into the mountains, shot it in these forests. Nice refreshing sleep in the greenwood. I pulled seven acorns out of my ribs. Lovely fresh air. My teeth ache with chattering. And they cast it with the very best people that they had at Warner Brothers. Basil Rathbone played Sir Guy of Gisborne. Claude Rains played King John. Alan Hale, who stole every movie he was ever in, played Little John. My friend, I should ask payment for what I'm teaching you here today. Alan Hale has the distinction of playing the only one of the few people who played the same role three different times. He was Little John in the Douglas Fairbanks silent version of Robin Hood. He was Little John in the Errol Flynn version. And he was Little John in another version in the 50s, just before he died. Then I'm right glad I fell in with you. It was he who did the falling in. <laughs> <laughs> they had this guy, Eugene Pallad, who played Friar Tuck. If you're a robber, you'll get nothing from me. I'm a Colonel Fry and vowed to poverty. <laughs> if this is poverty, I'll gladly share it with you. The whole movie is so charming. After I let a little air into your bellows, you whistle a different tune. <laughs> hey! And especially the light-hearted sort of devil-may-care antics of Errol Flynn. What else do you call a man who takes advantage of the king's misfortune to seize his power? Errol's whole charm, he was from Tasmania, and his, his whole charm was that he always acted like he really didn't care. Don't bother to mark the way, sir guy. It'll take keener men than you've got to find our camp again. And he really did care. Olivia de Havilland said, you know, he was really kind of heartbroken that his films weren't taken more seriously. He should have won an Academy Award for this and several other films he was in. One of the things about Errol Flynn, I think, like Tyrone Power, is that they both made it look too easy. The very thing. Five men at arms talking in a group. They'll break the fall beautifully. Goodbye, my lady. Robin! Yes? Please. Then you do love me, don't you? Olivia de Havilland was one of the great beauties. And Errol and she had a little flirtation, a little bit of an affair. You know you're very impudent. Me? You are. When they went to make this film, it was the most costly movie Warner Brothers had ever made. It came in at around $2 million, which in the Depression was really, really expensive. But it was so worth it because this movie played everywhere for a long time. And it was one of the few movies that they re-released later, about 10 years later, and it still made money. You wouldn't dare. Sit down! <laughs> I don't think there were ever any better villains than Basil Rathbone or Claude Rains. And having them both in the same movie was absolutely wonderful. There's a death sentence for your Robin of Loxley. I'll have him dangling in a week. Claude Rains decided that he was going to play Prince John a little bit. What? The feminine edge. Ah! Oh, look, here he comes, Robin Hood. <laughs> and of course, Basil Rathbone was a supreme fencer. His fencing scene, his final fencing scene with Errol Flynn is not to be believed. It's so great. With that crisp dialogue.
dialogue and that diction, you know. Could I upset your plans? You've come to Nottingham once too often. When this is over, my friend, there'll be no need for me to come again. It didn't move fast enough. So they removed William Keeley about midway through, and they brought in Michael Curtiz, who had directed Captain Blood and a few other movies, and would go on to direct Casablanca and Mildred Pierce and uh, Yankee Doodle Dandy. And his whole thing, he was a Hungarian, and his whole thing was, let's keep it moving. Come on, let's go, let's move. All right, next. Let's go, let's go. So that's how it kept that Warner Brothers pace. It never stops moving. And you are going to be absolutely charmed, thrilled, delighted with Errol Flynn, Olivia de Havilland, Basil Rathbone, Claude Rains in the classic The Adventures of Robin Hood. Men in tights are so cute. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's you know what, Jenny? We've lobby. never done an Errol Flynn film. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it!